This presentation covers DC voltage sources. An ideal voltage source is a concept, not a physical thing. No source of voltage is perfectly ideal, but some are better than others. An ideal voltage source would supply unlimited electrical power forever. It would maintain a constant invariant voltage regardless of how much current was drawn from it. It would supply unlimited energy without ever heating internally or creating any losses within itself. With it, we could cross the unit first. We could exceed the speed of light, maybe even time travel. We don't have one. We can't have one. We won't have one. But some are better than others. And we can use the concept as a mathematical model. This is a symbol for an ideal voltage source. This symbol represents a source of constant DC voltage, which is maintained regardless of A, how much current is drawn, B, how much temperature changes, C, how long it operates, D, how much radiation it absorbs, E, how much pressure changes, F, or any other stresses on it. This is the symbol for an ideal AC voltage source. It has that squiggle in it. It is just as ideal as its DC counterpart but it supplies an alternating voltage of invariant amplitude. The non-ideal voltage source can be modeled using an ideal voltage source and additional components which reflect its actual performance characteristics. These additional characteristics correspond to the real physical nature of the source. A real source has internal resistance. This can be modeled using a resistance usually small and valley in series with the ideal source. A real voltage source has a voltage tolerance which can be reflected as a percentage of the nominal source voltage. Some real voltage sources, such as batteries, lose energy with time. This is due to chemical recombination and degradation. This manifests itself as an effective parallel resistor between the terminals of the source. The source voltage is also always a function of temperature. This can be modeled by specifying a temperature coefficient usually in percent per degree or parts per million per degree. Since most sources require interconnection and packaging, inductive and capacitive reactive components also form the, a part of the non ideal voltage source model. Here's a simple non-ideal voltage source model. Here we have a practical source where um, the, um, the battery is considered to be ideal but you'll notice we have injected a or included a source resistance. This model suffices for most DC applications if the values of peripheral resistors and other parameters are specified or given. 